Writing equations in slope-intercept form. So we know slope-intercept is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So if we have the equation y equals 5x plus 2, we can identify the slope as 5. We can identify the y-intercept is 2. So when asked to write an equation, you need to know two things. You need to know the slope, the m, and the y-intercept, b. So, for example, write an equation in slope-intercept form of a line that has a slope of 2 and a y-intercept of 6. Well, we have two things that we need to identify. To write an equation, we need to know these two things. We need to know the slope, so the slope is 2, and we need to know the y-intercept. Well, the y-intercept is given as 6. So if we go to plug into y equals mx plus b, we can replace the m with 2, and we can replace the b with 6, and get the equation y equals 2x plus 6. Let's look at a new example. Write the equation of a line that has a y-intercept of negative 3 and a slope of negative 4, and we have four choices. So it's important that we keep straight which one is the slope and which one is the y-intercept. And the slope is the number in front of the x, and the y-intercept is the constant at the end. So the one with the correct y-intercept of negative 3, y-intercept of negative 3, and a slope of negative 4 is answer choice 2. All right, let's look in depth at a question like this. So we have Mr. D makes clay bowls at Pottery's RS. He pays a membership fee of $15 a month and an equipment fee of $3 an hour to use a pottery wheel, table, and kiln. Write an equation in the form y equals mx plus b to calculate his monthly cost. So if we think about this equation, what is the input variable or the x for this situation? What are we going to be putting into this equation to get information out? So I'm not talking about the 3 or the 15. I'm talking about, in words, what is the x representing? What are we putting into this equation? Well, what we're putting into this equation is the number of hours Mr. D uses the equipment. That's the input or the x value that's going into the equation. And what's the output variable or the y? What information are we going to get out of this word problem, out of this equation? If we put in the number of hours, what are we going to get out of the equation? Well, if we put the hours into the equation, what we're going to get out is the money Mr. D pays for membership each month, or what's called his total cost. So let's say during April, Mr. D does not use the equipment at all. What will be his number of hours x for April? Well, if he doesn't use the equipment at all, his number of hours using equipment is zero. And what will be his cost or y for April? Well, if he doesn't use the equipment, he's not getting the equipment fee, but he still has this $15 a month membership fee. So his cost for April would be $15. And what will be the y-intercept or b in this equation? Now, y-intercepts are things that happen once. They're not things that happen repeated over and over our slope, but things that happen one time, your initial fee, your beginning amount, these are your y-intercept. In this case, it's that membership fee. It's $15 for the month. Each month, it's $15. So $15 is our y-intercept, or 15 is the y-intercept. And Mr. D spends eight hours in May for a total cost of $15 plus eight times three. You guys can calculate his cost for May at $15 plus eight times three. Well, eight times three is 24 plus 15 is $39. So in May, his total cost for the month, $39. What will the slope M be in the equation. Well, a slope is something that's happening over and over at the same rate. It's also called unit rate when the denominator is 1 or constant of proportionality. So we're looking for something happening over and over and over. Well, each hour we're getting charged 
three dollars for the pottery wheel table and kiln that three dollars is the slope so if we put this together use the values up for m and b to write an equation for mr d's cost in the form of y equals mx plus b so when we write our equation in slope intercept form we're looking for a number to replace the m with which we have that slope of three and we're looking for a number to replace the b with well that's the y intercept that's the one time fifteen dollars so in slope intercept form y equals mx plus b we'd have y equals three x plus fifteen in slope intercept form then we could take numbers and put in for x and see well if he worked five hours he worked ten hours we could put each of those numbers in for x and calculate his cost for the month remember the input or the x would be the number of hours and the output or the y that would come out of the equation would be his total cost each month all right let's take a look at a different example i think we have completely talked about that one enough so let's look at we have a new example of Gino's Pizza sells a pizza for $20 with an additional charge of $2 per topping. And we're going to write this as an equation in slope intercept form. And the first thing we're going to look for is y intercept. Remember, y intercept is a one time cost, it's like an initial fee, a beginning point. It's something that doesn't happen over and over, it's a one time thing. So in this case, if we have Genius Pizza sells a pizza for $20 with an additional charge of $2 per topping, the y-intercept, our initial amount, that's the pizza. That's the $20 for the pizza. And then we're looking for slope. With slope, we're looking for something that's reoccurring at the same rate, this constant rate of change, constant of proportionality, unit rate, direct variation, you're looking for something that happens over and over at, at the same rate. And in this case, we're looking at this $2. So to find the slope, we're at that $2 per topping, so our slope is $2. And if we're to look at putting this into slope intercept form, we're looking at putting it into y equals mx plus b. We want to replace the m with the slope. Well, the m, we said the slope is $2 and we want to replace the B or the Y intercept with the B amount and we said the Y intercept is 20. So the situation is represented with Y equals 2X plus 20, the $20 for the pizza, the $2 per topping. So how much would it cost if we had one topping? Well, it would be two times one is two plus 20, it would be $22. How much would it be if it was three toppings? Well, two times three is $6 plus 20, the pizza would cost $26. So in its most basic form, that's what slope intercept and writing an equation in slope intercept form would look like. And I hope that gets you guys going today and have a great day. Keep up the good math. O-U-T spells out.